Had this child been already baptized or no? Dearly beloved, for as much as our Savior Christ said, none can enter into the kingdom of God, except he be regenerate and born anew of water and the Holy Ghost. I beseech you to call upon God the Father, through our Lord Jesus Christ, that of his bounteous mercy he will grant to this child that which by nature he cannot have, that he may be baptized with water and the Holy Ghost, and received into Christ's holy church, and be made a living member of the same. Let us pray. Almighty and immortal God, the aid of all who need, the help of all who flee to thee for succor, the life of those who believe, and the resurrection of the dead, we call upon thee for this child, that he, coming to thy holy baptism, may receive remission of sin by spiritual regeneration. Receive him, O Lord, as thou hast promised by thy well-beloved Son, saying, Ask, and he shall have. Seek, and he shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. So give now unto us who ask, let us who seek find, open the gate unto us who knock, that this child may enjoy the everlasting benediction of thy heavenly washing, and may come to the eternal kingdom, which thou hast promised by Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hear the words of the gospel written by St. Mark in the 10th chapter, at the 13th verse. They brought young children to Christ, that he should touch them, and his disciples rebuked those that brought them. But when Jesus saw it, he was much displeased, and said unto them, Suffer the little children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, Whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child, he shall not enter therein. And he took them up in his arms, put his hands upon them, and blessed them. And now, being persuaded of the good will of our Heavenly Father towards this child, declared by His Son, Jesus Christ, let us faithfully and devoutly give thanks unto Him and say, Almighty and everlasting God, Heavenly Father, we give Thee all the thanks that Thou hast not saved to call us to the knowledge of Thy grace and faith in Thee, and increase this knowledge and confer this faith in us evermore. Give Thy Holy Spirit to this that he may be born again and be made an heir of everlasting salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who liveth and reigneth in thee in the same Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Now to the parents and the godparents, dearly beloved, ye have brought this child here to be baptized. Ye have prayed that our Lord Jesus Christ would God save to receive him, to release him from sin, to sanctify him with the Holy Ghost, and to give him the kingdom of heaven and everlasting life. Dost thou therefore, in the name of this child, renounce the devil in all his works, the vain pomp and glory of the world, and all covetous desires of the same, and the sinful desires of the flesh, so that thou wilt not follow nor be led by them? I renounce them all, and by God's help, will never not to follow nor be led by them. Dost thou believe all the articles of the Christian faith as contained in the Apostles' Creed? I do. Wilt thou be baptized in this faith? Thou then obediently keep God's holy will and commandments and walk in the same all the days of thy life. I will do my God's will. Having now in the name of this child made these promises, <coughs> wilt thou also on thy part take heed that this child learn the creed, the Lord's Prayer, and the Ten Commandments, and all other things which a Christian ought to know and believe to his soul's health? I will do my God's will. Wilt thou take heed that this child, so soon as sufficiently instructed, be brought to the bishop to be conferred by him? I will not be. Let us pray. O merciful God, grant that like as Christ died and rose again, so this child may die to sin and rise to newness of life. Amen. Grant that all sinful affections may die in him, and that all things belonging to the Spirit may live and grow in him. Amen. Grant that he may have power and strength to have victory and to triumph against the devil, the world, and the flesh. Amen. Grant that whosoever is here dedicated to thee by our office and ministry, may also be endued with heavenly virtues and everlastingly rewarded through thy mercy, O blessed Lord God, who dost live and govern all things, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. Amen. 
that we should give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Everlasting God, for that thy dearly beloved Son, Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of our sins, did shed out of his most precious side both water and blood, and gave commandment to his disciples that they should go teach all nations and baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Regard, we beseech thee, the supplications of thy congregation. Sanctify this water to the mystical washing away of sin, and grant that this child now to be baptized therein may receive the fullness of thy grace, and ever remain in the number of thy faithful children, through the same Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom in thee the unity of the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory, now and evermore. Amen. Name this child. Ye may be filled with all the fullness of God. <laughs> 